So Elon Musk just dropped another one of his bombshell announcements, this time about a new AI model that he says could change absolutely everything. Okay, let's get into it. Today, we're going to try to separate the hype from the reality of Grok 5. It all kicked off with this. Musk didn't just announce a new model. He called it crushingly good. Now, that's not your standard tech speak, right? When a guy like Musk uses language like that, he's basically throwing down the gauntlet. He's signaling he wants to completely dominate the field. And here's the core of that promise. A brand new model, Grok 5, is supposedly coming before the end of 2025, and its whole reason for being is to be the best AI on the planet. But believe it or not, the story gets even more ambitious. Now, this is where it gets really fascinating. XAI isn't just planning for the future. Musk is claiming they're already winning right now. He's saying their current model, Grok 4, is already outperforming OpenAI's latest on some pretty important reasoning benchmarks. Of course, these are just their own unverified claims, which naturally leads us to a very important question. Right, you have to ask, is this another one of his bold predictions? Or is there something really here? I mean, anyone who's followed Musk for a while knows he has a, let's call it a, unique relationship with deadlines. In fact, it's so common, people have a name for it, Elon time. We've seen it with Tesla's full self-driving and the early timelines for getting to Mars. It's his pattern of extreme optimism that doesn't always quite line up with the calendar. So should we just dismiss this whole Grok 5 thing? Well, maybe not so fast. Because here's the thing. While you might want to be skeptical about the dates, the actual pace of development at his AI company, XAI, is anything but slow. In fact, it's moving at a speed that is genuinely shocking the rest of the industry. Just check out this timeline to see what I mean. Grok 3 was released in February of 2025. Grok 4 came out just five months later. To put that in perspective, most of the big AI labs take years between their flagship models. This speed is a crucial part of the story. So how are they doing it? Well, that incredible speed is possible because of two massive, almost unfair advantages that XAI has at its disposal. First, they are building what's reported to be the world's largest supercomputer, a massive cluster of cutting-edge NVIDIA GPUs. This is the raw horsepower you need to train these giant models. Second, and this might be even more important, they have a direct pipeline to the real-time data from X. Every conversation, every trend, every breaking news story is feeding Grok, giving it an up-to-the-minute understanding of the world that other AIs just can't match. And all of this is being fueled by some serious, serious money. The company reportedly raised a staggering $5 billion back in July. That capital is going directly into buying more computing power and hiring the absolute best talent in the world. Okay, so they've got the speed, they've got the data, and they've got the money. But what is the end product, Grok 5, actually going to do? Well, based on leaks and what the experts are speculating, the feature list is pretty mind-blowing. We're expecting true multimodality, which means it can understand and reason across text, images, video, and audio all at once. For developers, it could have a fully integrated code editor. And beyond just being better, it's expected to be much, much faster. But the most audacious goal of all? Musk has hinted that by 2026, he wants Grok to be capable of inventing entirely new technologies all on its own. But to really get the strategy here, you have to realize Musk isn't just building another chatbot to compete with ChatTPT. He's building an integrated AI ecosystem that stretches across all of his companies. And this slide just lays out the vision perfectly. You've got Grok on X soaking up all that social data. You have Grok in every Tesla getting real-world transportation data. Starlink provides global internet data, and SpaceX could even give it data from space. It's a feedback loop. Each company feeds the AI, and the AI, in turn, makes each company smarter. No other company has this kind of access to such diverse real-world information. There's another huge difference in their strategy. While competitors keep their best models under lock and key, XAI has been open-sourcing seriously powerful versions of Grok. They've already released Grok 2.5 and have promised to release Grok 3. This is a massive deal for developers and businesses because it lets them build on this tech without paying those huge subscription fees. So, with all this hype, all this speed, and all this strategic maneuvering, what does the AI race actually mean for you and for your business? This is where it gets really important. 
The key takeaway from all this is captured perfectly right here. Winning in this new era isn't about waiting for the perfect tool or the most powerful model. No, it's all about the speed of adoption and execution. Let me say that again, because it's probably the single most important thing to take away from this whole explainer. You do not need to wait for Grok 5 or GPT-6 or whatever else is coming down the line. The real opportunity is right now. So while your competitors are watching all the announcements, you should be acting. Start using the powerful tools that exist today. Find tasks in your business that you can automate. Integrate these capabilities into your daily operations. The real advantage comes from learning, implementing, and iterating faster than everyone else. So at the end of the day, the question isn't whether Croc 5 will live up to the hype. The question is, what are you going to do about it? Because the revolution is already here. Are you going to be watching from the sidelines or are you going to get in the game?